What's cracking, gamers? It's your boy Daily here, back with some more Total Tank Simulator. And today we're going to be doing a large scale D Day campaign scenario that was set up by someone on the Steam Workshop. So uh, here we have ourselves the Chairman Defenses of D Day, and we're going to be invading from the beach here. We have to set up our assault should be tricky so let me go ahead and spawn in the units and we'll get into it and later in the battle there will also be further uh campaigns as well i guess the, this is more than one scenario not just the beach landing but the further battle of normandy afterwards which should be cool too so guys if you want to see some more total tank simulator be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what you'd like me to cover either way guys let's get into it here Okay gamers, so despite the ability to actually get like a lot better units on the battlefield, I decided to try and keep it as D-Day-esque as possible. So uh, we've got a bunch of tactical bombers here, uh, and then the, the infantry on the ground is it's literally just infantry with a couple of these kangaroo uh, troop transport tanks to uh, help them out a little bit. But that's it. You know, I didn't I didn't want to go and put artillery on the beach and stuff like that. I wanted this to be a true beachhead. So really the only vehicles they're getting are a couple of troop transports just to help out and that. Uh, which I, I think is fair. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, so let's go ahead and give orders to our plan planas here. Our planas. Uh, and we're going to bunker bust with most of these right off the bat. I think that's probably the best play. Uh, and then we're also going to want to take out that pesky little uh barracks over there that that's gonna be that's gonna be essential essential uh so we'll go after that pretty hard and we'll also try and take out their aa turrets over there because those will be very problematic uh but if we could just take the beach head here first i think we should be all set um and we can just let the infantry charge basically let's get into it here yay let's see what goes down all right so there goes our planas, moving out. Come on, boys, you got this. Make Papa Daly proud, okay? Make Papa Daly very, very proud. Uh, and here comes our beach infantry invasion. That epic, very cool. We love to see. Make Papa Daly proud, please. Yes, that would be excellent. I'm just taking a couple uh, screenshots. Just for the sake of uh, me needing a couple of screenshots for the thumbnail. <laughs> Ooh! Artillery already hitting the beaches here. Oh my god, and they're also hitting our planes here too. Yikes, dude! Oh no! Okay, we, we might have to cheese this. We might have to go with the non, um, you know, historical setting. We might have to go ahead and, and spotted some cheese strats because this is not working currently. Um, and even our bunker busting planes aren't doing that well. <laughs> Most of them are dead already. Oh, here comes a good volley. Here comes a good volley. Let's check this out. All right, come on. Show Papa Daly some boom booms. You missed entirely. Oh my God. Oh, here comes another one. Come on. All right, that might hit. That might hit. Uh, okay. Hey, that, that one was pretty decent. That, that was actually a decent shot right there. D-shot, D-shot. You love to see it, but here comes their tanks. Ah, we're actually destroying them pretty good. Our infantry charge is going in, but getting slaughtered, dude. No! Oh, it's really sad. It is really sad. All right, you know what? I'm taking control here. Huh, huh, huh. Just use it all. Good. We actually got a tank kill right there. We got a couple more sticky bombs, but no dice. Uh, let's see, this guy here. Uh, you have a bazooka. You have a bazooka. And boom. Uh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Uh, there we are. Woo! Nice one. Let's bunker bust with the bazooka, maybe? Yes, we hit the bunker. I don't think we got the kill, though, and I believe that was our last bazooka shot right there. All right, come on. Nah, this is, uh, this is the end game here. <laughs> this is not uh, not going too hot right now. This is uh, quite abysmal, really. This is really bad. Yikes, man! Yikes, indeed. Can we can we speed it up in any way possible? <laughs> uh, yeah, the last of our infantry is going in here and uh, getting absolutely slaughtered. I mean, they just have so many defenses, dude. I I don't think you can do this with infantry only. I like. 
Uh, I just don't think it's possible. We need to spawn in artillery. We need to spawn in the big boy guns. We need to give it our all here in the next one. So uh, I'll be right back after, you know, the last of these infantry are going down. We'll be right back and we'll actually go ahead and, and try this for real. This was just the test run. Okay, we're back. Better than ever. We actually have a real setup here now. So we've got artillery in the back here, uh, which I am going to have uh, bombard the absolute living snot out of that barracks over there. Um, I think that is the way to go. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, that is possibly the biggest threat. Oh, I've gotten a phone call. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely the biggest threat right here. Artillery and tanks and stuff like that, uh, which is, is brutal. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be nasty. Uh, we're also gonna go after some of these bunkers here just to help out the infantry a smidge, I think. A smidge? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's a solid setup. And then we have in the front, tanks, armored cars, light tanks, uh, and infantry. Oh, we also have some of these calliopes too, which I thought were, would be interesting. So let's go ahead and press start here and see what goes down, baby! Uh, so right off the bat, we should have artillery firing out uh, and our, our smaller tanks moving forward a little bit here. There we go, the Mick Cafes moving in. Yeah, buddy! This is probably my favorite World War II tank. It's just so cool. I love the Mick Cafe. It looks sweet. It's a sweet looking tank. All right, there's our artillery pounding out from the shores. Come on, give Papa some big hits. Give Papa some big hits. This is gonna be nice, please. Get the flat gun, yes! Oh, that was nice. All right, and uh, really hit these barracks, guys. Please, please, please. But no dice. Okay, here comes a couple. Here comes a couple that'll hit these barracks. Come on, come on, come on, yes! There we go! All right, those are some big hits. We need more, though. We need more coming into those barracks, please. All right, how about over here? That's a big hit right there. That is a gnarly, gnarly hit right there. Beautiful. Well done, lads. Well done. All right, here comes our tanks moving forward. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm going to take control of this McCafe real quick. Uh-oh. actually dying from it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's that tank gun right there. Buddy. Oh, thank you, artillery. We're going to repair it. The Calliope's hitting our own tank. Ah, uh, but we repaired. We pulled it off somehow. All right, move out. Holy cow. How are we still alive? Uh-oh. Some enemy panzers. Oh, my God. <laughs> the artillery is helping so much. Ah, we're at five health. I'm going to let that little guy go. Do whatever you please, buddy. Do whatever you please. Um, how about this little armored vehicle? We could use this thing a little bit, I suppose. I think we're winning. Yes. Go off, boys. Yes. We're actually doing something here. We're doing something here. All right, push forward. Push forward. What we got? What we got? Through the grapevines. I don't see anyone. All right. Seems like our artillery is really messing them up, which is good. I think it's probably just the barracks and the uh, infantry coming from the barracks right now. But yeah, there's infantry over there. Is the barracks still alive? Um, no, I think. Yeah, I think that's dead, dead. So I think it should just be the infantry now, which is Pog. And here we go, moving in. Woo! We're all over the place, but there's the victory. Let's go. D-Day accomplished right there. B-E-A, beautiful. Uh, and now we'll go to the next mission, which uh, should be just as epic. All right, this one's called Normandy Fields. Destroy the enemy VIPs, which sometimes are actually easier missions and sometimes are way harder missions. Uh, it seems like they're mainly officer cars and then a heavy tank right there. Oh, and a and a tank buildy boy. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set up our, our assault here deeper into Normandy right now. Okay, gamers, so here's what I've got going for us here. Uh, going heavy on the RT and the uh, uh, the planes as well, because obviously we just want to take out the VIPs. It, like literally, the rest doesn't matter. As long as we take out the VIPs, we're golden. So we're gonna already strike the wazoo out of them, trying to take them out uh, just right off the bat. Because if you can, if you can basically just win the game right away, why not win the game right away? You know. Uh, so that's what we're going for here. Uh, it could be tough though, especially this factory. That factory is going to take a while to go down, I think. Uh, so we're going to work hard on that one. Um, and then we're also going to go for a bit of a bombardment here, which will be nice. Uh, that should be pretty helpful. We're going to go after that VIP there with those guys. And then um, 
Oh, it looks like we can't choose the dive bomber's locations, but that's okay. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, should be good. And then over here, on the ground, we have a lot of jumbo tanks, which jumbo tanks, if you didn't know, uh, have really good health. So I basically just plop them down so we give the artillery lots of time. Uh, and the creator of this map put some cheeky beaky little minefields on the ground up there. So didn't put too many tanks over there, but mainly tanks in the forest over here where they've got their own tanks. So let's go ahead and press start and see if we can't take these guys out. I'm really hoping for a swift victory here. Our fighters are going up against their fighters right off the bat. Hopefully our bombers come out of this uh, relatively unscathed. That would be really, really nice. Here they go. They're flying overhead, which is great. Dive bomber's going a little bit lower, but that does make some sense there. All right, lots of lots of explosions going on in the air right now. I'm just hoping a few of these TAC bombers manage to make it out alive and drop their payloads. It would make our life a whole lot easier. Come on, drop that payload right now. Drop it on the head of that officer. Please. Right now, right now. Now's the time. He's right there. He's right there. They're not dropping it. Oh, not a single one dropped. Yes! One did get dropped. Come on. Come on. That could be big. That could be big. Also, the rest of our artillery is firing out. Could be good uh, against the factory there. All right, let's see this this payload drop. Come on. Give me a direct hit here. No, where'd he go? Oh, he dipped. Oh, that son of a gun. Dang it. All right, so that officer is still out there. Um, we might have killed the officer in there. Did we get the... Um, the transport officer? Honestly, I'm not totally sure. I have no idea. Let's see. Where's the VIPs? That one's still alive. Oh, no! One is still alive in that bunker there, actually. That's not great. All right, let's see if I can't, uh, can't hit him myself. It should be this one right there. Oh! That thing's got a lot of time to reload, I think, right? No, wait. Maybe I can just... Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Hit the VIP. He's right there. Come on. Oh, no. He's moving. Oh, he was in that bunker. He was in that bunker just then. All right. Oh, no. Break that tree. <laughs> Give me something. No. No. Tree, you're in the way. Ah. Ah. All right. Hopefully one of those hits, the ones that escaped the tree. Oh, it's so close. It's so close to hitting. Come on. All right. We got the big boy over there. Oh, we won! Okay, he must have died somehow. Sweet! Awesome! Okay. Oh, those missions are always so spazzy. You never know if you're actually going to win or not. Alright, here's the Battle of Can. Let's do it. Oh, okay, so we're like surrounded during this battle. Okay. Whew, these ones are always a little tricky. Um, we will get some anti-air cannons in here. Um, because, for one, they're actually pretty good against infantry. Um, and for two, uh, they... Stop air attacks, <laughs> obviously. Um, let's get infantry kind of in a circle perimeter there. Um, and then get some heavier tanks surrounding with light tanks around as well. Kind of just dot the field with as much stuff as we can get. Um, planes are never a good buy during this. Never, ever, ever. They're usually pretty cruddy. Honestly, maybe the Calliope would be a good buy, because it's a mobile artillery unit. That's not terrible. It's actually a good idea. Um, maybe some super heavy tanks, too? I don't know. It's basically, you just need things that's, that have some longevity to them, you know? Just need some longevity. So, that's what we got. Just go ahead and start the battle here, and uh, see what goes down. Oh, it's doing the glitch where you can't move during it. What the heck? Ah, oh, I hate that glitch. Why don't they fix that? <laughs> I don't actually know the last time this game was updated, to be completely honest. Probably the Workshop update, but that feels like quite a while ago. The game's also... It feels like every update, it gets less and less optimized. Like, it straight up feels like the game is is regressing in terms of optimization. Um, which is a real shame. This is such a fun game. I, I, wish, uh, I wish it was a little bit more optimized and stuff. Alright. Either way, we got full-blown warfare going on here. I mean, the trees are just getting blown to smithereens. German tanks... Kind of retreating actually a little bit here, but but I mean our super heavy tanks are are doing doing some work. We need our green bar to stay very very healthy in this first assault. If it goes way if it goes down more than like probably half, we're done for probably. You know, if it goes down more than half, we're we're in really bad shape for wave two, and then wave three it'll basically be like terrible. You know, it, it would be no good. All right, here we go. 
infantry charge over here. We could probably help them out a little bit here. They uh, seem a little bit stupid right now. Uh-oh. There we go. We're getting some tape hits. Here, use a repair kit on myself, <laughs> aka a med kit. There we go. There's another good tank hit. Come on. Um, oh, he lost armor, so now we can just fire at it. Beautiful. Well done. Whew. All right, and it looks like we've just got some scattering of German infantry over this way. We'll just yuck some grenades at them. You know, do that little trick, that little shindig. I'll just yeet them. I think I missed most of those. Ah, we got one. There we go. Where's this other guy? Is he in here? There he is. What's up, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, I had to whip out the pistol. Yikes. Yikes, dude. All right, we got one more trooper up there. There we go. We're getting the nugget shots on him. Not the, not the greatest weapon for range here. Although, it, IRL, I think it's pretty good, but in this, it's just not fantastic. Come on. There we go. Ooh, tanks are taking pot shots at him, too, now. He's almost dead. Oh, he healed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, wave two coming in here. Uh, what we got? Oh my god, so many planes. Please tell me some of our artillery is, or anti-air air guns are still up, and they are, which is gorgeous right now. Okay. Let's just yeet some of those out there. Come on. Do good. Do well. Come on. Oh, no. This is always brutal <laughs> when they hit us with the AA guns. Or, sorry, the, the aircraft on uh, on round two. That's always really, really rough. Who's shooting at this guy? Oh, it's just one random plane right there. Um, yeah, they're they're doing some, some brutal stuff to us right now. Uh, but what we can do is actually just repair as they hit us. Ooh, that one didn't repair super well. How about this one, though? If you repair while they hit us, uh, they basically can't kill you. They, d they don't do enough uh, damage if you're just constantly repairing to really destroy, destroy you. I mean, they can, but, like, it's a bit more rare. Ooh, but these guys have already done all of their repair kits, so we're, we're actually looking pretty bad here. We're just two bunched together. Guys, I need y'all to move. Oh, they've all used their repair kits, haven't they? Yep. <laughs> Almost all of our boys have repaired already. Bit of a yikes right now, dude. Okay, this one can be repaired. Come on, I need you guys to stay up. There we go, that one's repaired. No, I just repaired you. What do you mean not repaired? Oh, come on. Repair. There we are. All right, come on, repair. Guys, I need y'all to stay up. There we go. Because the planes will run out of fuel. That, that's what they'll do. Alright, repairing this guy. Oh. There we are. Okay. A lot of our tank force is still safe. Repairing this guy. A lot of it's still safe. That is very good. Ooh. No, no. No. Oh, no. Repair, repair. Oh, I think that's it. I think, I think that's the L right there. We have one Patton remaining. Oh, and he's, he doesn't have a repair kit either. God dang it. Alright. We might as well just retry this mission here. There, there's no point in continuing. Around, I actually just gave us an airport as well as many more uh, anti-aircraft uh, vehicles and things like that. So hopefully this actually helps out a little bit and we can um, succeed in victory. Although uh, it does come with the cost of less tanks, which might be a little bit more tough, but... Hopefully the tanks we do have can still do it. Plus the, the you know the aircraft will help out a little bit. Um, it's just a matter of making sure we're all we're all in tip top shape here. You know we gotta make sure we're good. All right, let's see. I might take control of this turret and do some ground firing. Oh, I hit my own ATR man. I'm gonna stop ground firing. I'm gonna cease cease that. Um, can take over as this ATR guy though, and uh, get some pot shots out there. There we go. We're doing actually a decent job of getting some damage on these boys with the help of our other boys. Nice. There's some Panzer twos down. If we pivot this way, there should be some more. Should probably reload this thing. Yeah, ATR guys are nice, honestly. Hey, actually, we're doing pretty well. This is actually not a bad first round, and I think. Uh, Second round, we should be a lot better off as well, which is great, <laughs> especially for the anti. Uh, Anti-air, we should be better. Alright, let's go in here with the pistol. There's the boy. Oh. Oh, I missed, like, all those shots. Oh my god, it's the exact same thing that happened last time. That's happening this time. With these guys being out there. Okay, there we go. 
Alright. Um, there we are. Here comes Rave 2, and it looks like we're destroying them now. Look at that. Alright. Our anti-air guns are doing their work. Our uh, airport is also still alive, which is nice. Yeah, they have barely anything left from their planes here. This is exactly what we needed to have happen. <laughs> this is what we needed to have happen the first time around, but we got butchered last time, so we're actually being successful here. They have like a couple of squads left. They did take out our jet fighter right there. That was not a jet fighter, just our regular fighter there. That's okay. We'll have more on en route from the um, airport. There we go. Yes, take them out. There we go. All right, wave three. Uh, no idea what they're going to be hitting us with this wave. Let's go ahead and see. Um... All right, so a couple more planes, but we're taking care of them. Looks like some tanks and infantry over here. More scattered about over here. All right, they kind of just surround us right now, I think. Ooh, do they have some... Yeah, they do have some artillery around there. Which is a little bit scary, but not not the worst. We're okay. Uh, why don't we take control of something around here? Oh, this vehicle is dying, and I took control of it. And we're on fire. Let's go ahead and repair it. There we go, totally repaired still on fire not great I'm gonna try and uh, they have anti-take guns over there that's the main problem right now oh it must be fire artillery actually that's probably what that is actually smart wicked smart oh that one already got taken down eh, I'll just watch <laughs> I'm not actually helping that much yeah that's got to be fire artillery right there Ooh, burned our boys to a quisp that might be the last thing alive Take her out. Ooh, there goes the bomb. Nice. Love it. All right. Oh, maybe that wasn't the last thing alive. Is there more? Doth there be more? Something over here, perhaps? There's explosions. Ah, I see one little German guy there and one on the roof there. Take them down, boys. Nice. Okay. There we go. There's the victory. Nice job, boys. That is going to be about it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more Total Tank Simulator in the future. Either way, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.